Hi all, I'm Alex and in this video we will have a look on how to deploy Win32 applications in Intune. So in this video we will dive into the Win32 deployment types in Intune, explore the Win32 content prep tool, guide you through converting your application to an Intune Win file and show you how to upload and deploy it in Intune. Now if we have a look at Intune and go to apps, all apps and add a new app, you can see here that you have multiple app types, right? Uh, you have Android Store, iOS, Microsoft 365 apps, Edge, web applications, so forth and so on. From a packaging standpoint of view and deployment of applications, you have apart from the uh, Microsoft Store integration, you have the line of business app and Windows app Win32. Now, when we talk about line of business apps, if we try to create one, when we select the app package, we have some options. The first one, uh, this is specifically designed for IPA, MSI, MSIX, uh, so this kind of extension. So for example, if you have an MSI, this is simply to implement. You just go here, select your MSI file. Actually, let me try to actually give an MSI so you can see how it behaves. So if I go into my projects, I think I have a VLC media player or actually I think I have this Java app. So I select this MSI, I click OK and Intune automatically captures all the necessary details. As you can see, you don't have much to customize. Uh, you give it a name, a description, a publisher. If this is installable per user or per device, this is automatically detected within the MSI. We can ignore the app version in case the application is automatically uh, updated by the app developer, such as Google Chrome. When we hit the detection, we don't actually uh, search for the exact version to be installed. Uh, you can also parse uh, different command line arguments and what does it mean? So for example, when you install an MSI, you have your MSI exec uh, slash I, your MSI name, and then you can put different parameters such as uh, all users equal one or uh, reboot equal no and so forth and so on, right? Uh, so this is where you add those parameters or those command line arguments, for example, all users equal one and uh, Intune will automatically build the command line. But as you can see, you cannot get to define uh, any further way of installing. It's just a simple command line that Intune automatically does for MSIs. You don't have any further detection methods to implement uh, and that's it. You just hit next and assign it and that's it, right? Now, when it comes to Windows 32 applications, uh, if we try to add them and we click select, when we try to select the app package, we will see that we need to have an Intune Win file. Now, what are Intune Win files? Now, these are created, as mentioned, with the Win32 Content Prep Tool. Now, the Windows 32 Content Prep Tool is crucial for deploying Windows 32 applications via Intune which converts the traditional desktop applications into a format which is compatible with Windows uh, 32 app deployment via Intune. Uh, it primarily converts application installations files such as EXEs or MFSI files or um, PowerShell installation wrappers into the Intune Win format which is required right so the tool creates a compressed encrypted package containing the installation files and any additional metadata needed for deployment uh, now this process not only assures that the applications are ready for deployment through intune but also secures the content during the transit and storage which which is crucial for maintaining data integrity and security um, 
one of the key benefits of using the Windows 32 Content Prep tool is its ability to handle complex installation scenarios. Um, now, many traditional desktop applications come with a wide range of installation parameters, scripts, and configurations, and the Content Prep tool allows these complexities to be encapsulated within the Intune Win package, thus facilitating a smooth and controlled deployment process throughout Intune. So, how exactly do you create such an Intune Win file? So, first of all, you need to actually download the tool. If you search on GitHub or on Google, you search for Microsoft Win32 uh, Windows uh, 32 Content Prep. So, we can go on this. I think we have Bing, uh, and you have it here, right? So, this is the project. You click on download the zip file. Then, when you extract the zip file, you will be presented with this. The Intune app util, uh, license terms, readme, release notes, and uh, so forth and so on. Now, if I want to use the Win Content Prep tool, I just go here, um, change the directory. Ah, sorry, totally forgot I was in PowerShell. Okay, and here I can just do this. And these are all the parameters that the prep tool supports. Uh, minus V, this will show us the tool version, uh, user's information, and so forth and so on. Uh, to create an Intune Win file, uh, it's easy. We just hit the Intune Win app till.exe and we hit enter. Now, when we hit enter, I will show you in a couple of seconds, it will ask you for some stuff. Now, if we have a look over my test folder here, uh, I have a Java app and this is the PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit. Now, I know in PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit, if you want to install any application, you need to have it copied inside the files. Let's skip that part. I know this is just for demonstration purposes. Now, when I hit enter, now uh, the Windows Content Prep Tool will will ask me to specify a source folder. Now, the source folder is the folder of the application where all the uh, required installation files are, right? So I'll hit the test. Now it will ask me for the setup file. And this is the part which I wanted to explain. If you want to install your application via the Java app.msi, you can put your MSI. In my case, I'm using deploy application.exe, right? Because I'm using the PowerShell app deployment toolkit. And the output folder will be exactly the same. Uh, do you want to specify a catalog folder? No, I hit enter. And there you go. In a couple of seconds, I have my Intune Win file, right? And now my application is ready to be uploaded inside Intune. One other thing to mention, if you hit, for example, uh, the setup file as something else, uh, apart from the deploy application.exe, but you actually need to use this, don't worry, you can configure it when you add it in Intune. So now if we go into Intune, and let, let me do it from the beginning. I go to all apps, add Win32, select, select my app package file. And I'm going to go to D, test, and I have my Intune Win file. Okay. And as you can see, you already have some information here, which is actually uh, gathered from the executable, right? So from the MSI, you have much more information. So let's say this is um, test uh, Java app. Um, again, I don't want to change anything here. Alex, blah, blah, blah. I can select the categories. I can show the app featured in their portal. And uh, I can also select a logo. The logo must be a PNG, JPEG or uh, JPG file. Cool, next. Now the install command. This is what I was trying to explain. If you want to trigger actually the Java app.msi, I can put here um, msi exec slash i blah 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 slash kb, right? But um, in this case, I want to use uh, deploy application.exe or you can use powershell.exe minus execution policy bypass minus file and this will be your ps1 
sorry. And the uninstall command line, you know it, it's deploy application, blah, blah, let's uninstall. Uninstall, doesn't matter. Uh, installation time required. This is um, how much Intune will wait for the installation to finish. If it takes more than 60 minutes, change it here to whatever you like. Um, now, if you want for the user in company portal to have the option to uninstall this app, you can let it here with yes, otherwise uh, leave it with no. The install behavior will tell you if this will be installed per system or per user. Most likely in a Windows 32 scenario, you will install it per user. If the applic and then the device restart behavior, if the application uh, forces a device restart, we let it. Uh, or we can determine the behavior based on return codes, which are mentioned here, or you can add different return codes, or uh, Intune will force a mandatory device restart. Good, next. Requirements. Uh, you need to select if this application will be installable for devices on 32 bits or 64 bits on the architecture side. I'm going only to select the 64 bit and minimum uh, operating system depending on what you have in your infrastructure. Let's say I have Windows 10 21 H2 uh, and that's pretty much it. Detection rules. Now, this is something important. 99% uh, of the time you will manually configure the detection rules. Now, when I click add, I have multiple types. In this case, because I have a Java application, if I open it with advanced installer on the product details, I can get the product code. This is the product code of the application. And I can say MSI, MSI product code. I can also check for the version, which equals, for example, what version do we have here? 1.0.0, but 99% of the cases I won't do this. So this is one way to detect your application. If your application is not an MSI, you can search for a file. For example, in program files folder, something test uh, uh, app.txe, um, right? Uh, file or folder detection file or folder that exists um, or and if this is associated with a 32-bit app on 64-bit clients this is another way the last is to use registry uh, so for example uh, we can put the, on the keypad let's say I have something in uh, local machine software uh, 7-zip right this is one way to do it and value name should be pat and let's say the value exists right this is another way so these are the three three main standard ways to detect if an application is present another way is to uh, use a custom detection script uh, this is a little bit more complex but you can create a powershell script uh, this is just an example, it's not this, but uh, you can create a PowerShell script that can detect dynamically your application or it has different checks to confirm that your application is installed or maybe you have multiple applications inside this uh, Intune Weave file, maybe you have a bundle of three or four applications. The best way you can do this is maybe via a PowerShell script and you can run the script as a 32-bit process on 64-bit clients and you can enforce script signatures if you want to sign your partial script next on the dependencies you can specify any dependencies that you have here for example any previous applications that you have deployed inside your intune i don't have any you can say that it can supersede certain applications for example let's say this is vlc media player version 3019 this will definitely supersede this one, right? And you can select this one. You can uninstall previous version, yes or no. You can keep it in parallel or leave it there because your installer will actually uninstall that one. And then you can start to assign it on different groups uh, or devices. Next, you click review and create and create your application. So this is how simple it is to create 
an Intune WIN file and deploy it into Intune. If you want more videos like this, hit the like and subscribe button or let us know in the comments if you need anything else. Thank you. Bye bye.